I want to use this last section to talk about how I came across these lenses, uh, who the company is, what I know about them, uh, and what I think about the lenses. I was scrolling through Facebook one day and someone had posted an article uh, talking about Nightcore Superior Primes. I didn't know anything about the company. So, so I clicked the link and I was reading through it and I noticed uh, the focal lengths and the speeds were all the same as the Kinefinity Mavo Primes. And the Mavo Primes were something I had had my eye on for about a year or so because they're full frame, they're fast, and I like the way that they looked. Uh, so I, I visited Nightcore's website, and when I went to Nightcore's website, it was all about flashlights and uh, battery banks and stuff like that. So I thought, oh, maybe I have the wrong link. So I went back to the article, and I was kind of browsing through, and they had the they had the company link there too. So I clicked, and it took me to the web, same website. And I was like, man, that's so weird. So I went to their press releases, and I dug through their press releases, and I found uh, on Nightcore's website where they were talking about these uh, these superior primes and something that something that I knew was that Kinefinity and uh, Nissi had these same exact lenses for sale. So Nissi F3 and the Kinefinity Mavo primes were the exact same lenses. The only thing that was different was the label on the lens. So I thought, well, maybe a flashlight company is getting into making cinema primes, but why in the world would a flashlight company get into making cinema primes when they don't even have a foot in the video world? It just doesn't make any sense. So I kind of did some more digging on the forum and someone suggested maybe Nightcore is the manufacturer behind these lenses. So I reached out to Nightcore and I said, hey, tell me a little bit more about your lenses and what makes you think you can compete in you know, the video world with cinema glass? So Nightcore responded and they said, Hi Keaton, sorry for the late reply because of limited access to the internet this weekend. About Nikkor, you may know us for professional flashlights and chargers. We produce dual slot camera chargers for the convenience of outdoor photographers. Our company has always been good at optical design and has an optical studio and officially acquired an optical production plant. We are mainly engaged in flashlight lighting products, so we have not sold movie lenses ourselves. This product has been sold worldwide by Blank. Because we acquired the optical factory and a more professional team, Blank no longer sells our film lenses and returned the product line to us. So during that time, I was in the market to buy some cinema lenses, and um, I had been keeping my eye on the Kenafinity Mavo Primes and the Nissi F3s for like the last year or so. The thing I really liked about those lenses is that when when a uh, when a light source directly pings this lens, um, you get a bloom and you get this uh, this rainbow flare that I just thought was beautiful. I mean, everybody's got their own taste on lenses, but. From what I was seeing from the lenses, I really liked the way that they looked because the, the bokeh was smooth and uh, creamy. The lenses were fast, they were sharp, but they weren't clinical, they weren't uh, surgical, you know, they didn't feel uh, sterile. So I didn't, have any, I didn't have any reservations jumping into a company that I didn't really know and that didn't really fit in the cinema world because I already knew that their product was being trusted by other companies and I had seen the results from these lenses. So you can buy these lenses in different number sets. I bought the uh, the full five lens set, which was the uh, 25, 35, 50, 75, and 100. And they're all T2.0, except for the 25, which is T2.1, which is really fast. They come shipped with a PL mount, but they also ship me uh, an EF mount. So you can actually swap the the mount on these lenses. So if you were running a rental or whatever and somebody said, hey, I really need it in an EF mount, you could uh, take out these uh, eight screws here. You just pop off the PL and then you put on an EF and then you just put those eight screws back in. So these 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 lenses are constructed like tanks too. Uh, the, the whole housing is an aluminum housing. It's got a 270 degree focus throw on it uh, with a 70 degree uh, iris throw. And uh, the lens cap is a, a proper metal lens cap. And so these, these lenses really feel like they're lenses that are built to be used. They are uh, very well manufactured and they feel very precise with, uh, with hard stops. The case is also really nice and it fits all five of the lenses. Uh, they lay in, which is kind of hard. I kind of like the drop-in style uh, like you'd see on uh, some of the Jason cases, but uh, you know, this is fine. They, they come with it comes with this case for free and uh, it protects your lenses Thanks for taking the time to watch this lens test and hear my thoughts right now We're in the middle of the COVID-19 social distancing era So I don't have a lot of real-world footage, but when everything opens back up I'll post another video with some real-world footage from uh, projects that I've shot 
Uh, in the meantime, if there's anything that I missed, just drop a comment below and I'll be sure to add it to the next video.